Hi everybody, welcome to Citizen Survival Plan. Welcome back if you've been here before. Do you want a power station that is affordable and provides real world power? Well, Opus has teamed up with me to showcase their new Exodus 1500 watt power station and i'm glad to cover it they sent this one out to me for testing and if you guys have watched the channel before you know that i like opus products it's what i use here i use it to power all kinds of different emergency equipment right now with opus's launch day sale combined with my extra five percent discount you'll get the unit for $427. That's on sale from the original $600 price tag. So you get $172 in savings. My discount code is pinned in the comments and only works for a limited time from now until April 12th. Today, I'm gonna to take a look at this thing. I'm gonna show you all of its features, what it can do, what it can power. The first thing I wanna cover on this, and this is always my expectation of an emergency power generator, is I'm looking for four things, and let's see if this thing has it. I want passive charging, a regulated DC outlet. That sometimes is more specific to me because I like to run a lot of radio equipment out of that 12 volt socket. Um, I always wanna see LifePo 4 batteries. These are the best batteries for any power station. It gives you 3,500 recharges to 80% of the battery's original capacity. So you'll get years and years and years of service out of this before that battery starts to degrade. The last thing is a pure sine wave inverter. Again, I wanna plug anything I want into this thing, whether it be a computer or a radio, a light, it doesn't matter. I need that pure sine wave inverter. This unit has all four things that I am typically looking for in a power station. So before we even get into any testing, I kinda of just wanna go over a little bit of the spec sheet and what this thing has to offer. This has pretty big power. It has a 1,488 watt hour battery. So you're gonna be able to run a lot of stuff off this. this isn't gonna be like a little 300 watt power station that you find that runs basically nothing but lights. This thing will actually power big things. We're gonna get a bunch of different outlets on this. I like to see this three AC outlets. That's pretty important. We get two USB-A and two PD 140 watt USB-C ports. And again, you can use all of these at the same time. The Exodus 1500 has a 1500 watt inverter on it, but it has a boost mode that allows you to draw up to 1700 watts of power from it. This is a really cool one that I don't see that much in these power stations. It is a UPS, an uninterruptible power supply. This is gonna be cool. If you're like me, I lose power at my home constantly. If the power goes out, whatever appliance, computer, or whatever you have plugged into it will not shut off. It will automatically switch over and run seamlessly. The last one on this list is pretty interesting to me. You can charge at two different speeds. So if you are really in a hurry, this thing will charge up from zero to 80% in two hours. You can choose, and I will show you an example of this, you can choose between low speed charging and high speed charging. One is gonna charge, or the high is gonna charge at about 800 watts, and the low is gonna charge at about 400 watts. Low is the preferred method of charging as running it on high charging mode is not great for the batteries but is absolutely doable. One thing that I see on this thing that I already really like is it doesn't have some weird obscure charge port. It runs a regular old Anderson connector and I like to see that. There's some power stations that use proprietary connections and it makes it difficult to connect to different types of solar panels. The DC eight millimeter port or the Anderson, those are my two favorite and it doesn't matter to me. As long as you have one or the other of that, I'm good with it. There's all kinds of different connectors that I use to just connect these to solar panels and that just makes things easier. Let's go ahead and plug this thing into some things. Let's do some testing. Let's really make this thing throw some power to see what I can get out of it. 
Okay, so we just want to give you an overview of this thing. This is the front of it. You get three AC outlets, and you have your four USB ports here. These are 140-watt outlets. Uh, there's your power. And this is actually a button to connect it to your phone. There is an app. Um, you don't need it. You can operate everything without the app, but the app is actually kind of cool. It's just easier to get in there and change some of the settings on it. We're going to spin it around. This is the Anderson connector I was talking about. I like seeing that. And another cool thing is this is all you need to charge it, just a simple power cord. With my other unit, and we'll roll some footage into that, you need these two big brick power inverters to plug up to it and it charges it so it just makes it messier there's more stuff to deal with it's good to see opus upgrade to a cleaner system where you need less parts for we're going to keep spinning it here this is the back there's a handle on it it's not super heavy but it does have some weight to it i think on the spec sheet we'll put the weight on here i think it was like 35 pounds maybe it's not too bad uh, my wife was able to move it around no problem, so big power, not too heavy. Okay, one big thing I really like to see in an emergency power station, as opposed to buying something under 1,000 watts or under 1,500 watts, is I want to actually be able to power up an electric cook stove or something that really draws a lot of power. And this unit will do that, and it does it fine. I have some footage. I boiled some water on it. It eats up some power but I like that it has the capability. So we'll turn on the AC outlet and you'll see the fans are gonna kick on. They're not too, too loud, but they need to do that to cool those batteries. And you'll see this is gonna draw over a thousand watts and it will run like this until it kills the battery. There's no issues with it. Again, it's a 1500 watt inverter. You can even run it the whole way up to 1700 watts before this unit shuts down. So big power in an affordable price. So right now, this is the slow charging mode and this is what Opus wants you to stick to. It just preserves the batteries. It's not so hard on the battery to charge it like this. It's gonna charge anywhere from 300 to 400 watts on the slow mode. And then this is how you get it into fast charging or the turbo charging mode or whatever they have here. So with everything off, <laughs> You hold the IOT button and the DC power outlet, and it will come up after about five seconds with an H or an L, and you can hold the power button again, and it should hit successful, S-U-C. It should charge at the higher rate now, now that it's on high mode. Okay, and here we go. It is going to enter high mode. It takes a second for it to kind of balance itself out, but it will. It's hitting five, maybe 600 now, and it will go almost to 800, and it should charge zero to 80% in two hours. Okay, so we're going to test some typical appliances you might want to run. Um, this is a coffee pot. It draws a decent amount of power, and it handles it just fine. I probably wouldn't run a toaster oven and the coffee pot at the same time, but no problem, we can run a coffee pot and we'll let that zero out and I will turn the toaster oven on and you'll see this is gonna pull a little bit more power, well actually less, but it'll run both of those appliances and if you have a small microwave, preferably under 1200 watts, it should run that just fine. Okay, I know this is kind of a funny test with the vacuum here, but I needed two high draw appliances to showcase this thing's 1700 watt draw ability. So we had the hot plate running and the vacuum at the same time. And as you can see here, it goes right up to just about 1700 watts and it doesn't shut off. It will run it fine. That is the Opus Exodus 1500. It is a great bargain for how much power and capability you actually get. And remember, from right now until April 12th, combined with my discount code, you're going to get $172 off this thing. It's going to come in at $427. You will be hard-pressed if you even can find another unit that comes in at this price with this type of capability. 
Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.